While you were wondering why your phone doesn't work on Florida freeways, hint, because this guy, you may have missed NASA's inflatable habitat failing to fill, a wearable device that controls other people, and the laser-edged Star Wars vinyl record. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where unlike Foxconn, humans are still running the show. For now. So as we inch closer to actually sending people to Mars, NASA's working on figuring out how to cram as much stuff as possible into a spaceship. Sort of like how you shove your entire vacation into your carry-on bag. One of the ways a space agency is trying to achieve that is with expandable habitats. You land on Mars, you blow up your home, and you're all set. Unfortunately, the first test of this type of structure aboard the International Space Station failed to expand, and NASA doesn't know why. Maybe they can send some of those college kids that 3D printed a rocket engine to help them out. Ever wish you could win friends and influence people the same way Professor X does? Uh, incredible power! Well, you can't. What you can do, however, is remotely control them with the BioSync from inventor Jun Nishida. The device measures the electrical levels within your muscles and transmits that data to its twin device to recreate the same effect for another person. The user's muscle activity will be virtually reproduced and synchronized with a partner in real time. The technology could help everyone from Parkinson's patients to professional athletes or, you know, wannabe wargs. <laughs> And finally, Star Wars geeks and vinyl aficionados, both realize that analog is better than digital and that Han shot first, can finally come together thanks to the upcoming release of the Force Awakens soundtrack. Now the two albums have holograms of the Millennium Falcon and a TIE Fighter that appear while the records are being played. That probably means an R2-D2 turntable can't be far behind.